How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How was your week? You, you look fantastic, by the way. Thank you. You as well, man. Uh, I, I really like that hat. Oh, well, yeah. I really, <laughs> I really like that hat. Look, Mark's already got it up on the wall over there, oh, too, nice. in his studio. I like that, too. I appreciate it. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Did you, uh, I think it happened yesterday or the day before, that lady in New York that got arrested for kicking those squatters out of her house? Yeah. Dude, it's becoming a huge problem. And I think living in California, we just think it's an everyday thing. But it's going all over the country. This was in Queens, and her family left her the house, right, after they passed away. Mm -hmm. And she was in the midst of selling it. Mm -hmm. And she comes to check it out, and there's squatters in there. She comes and changes the locks, right? The police come. The squatters call the police the next time she shows up, and they arrest her for changing the locks because apparently in New York, the tenant under the tenant law, you can't change locks or force anybody out of their property, and it's not even their property. What's going on in the world? Right dude, now? I, I saw some shit the other day, too, since she brought that up. Like, dude, 12 people were squatting in one house. That's, it's insane. It's insane, dude. It, it's, this million-dollar home. How the fuck did we get to this point? Squatting in a mansion is crazy. I, I just don't even know how there's... Why is there squatter laws? Like, right. What, like... Yeah, that's a good point. What's boy. the benefit? What, 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 what are we doing? Hey, you yeah. think we should go squat and do an episode? <laughs> in we a could get away with it. And shit? We could get away with it. Yeah, we could get away with it. I think Stu could get away with it. <laughs> we could definitely get what, away with it. What about you, it. Emily? What do you think? Could you get away with it? Squatting? Always. Yeah, see. I'm doing it now. <laughs> Squatting or getting away with it? Both. Both. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go. We just gotta go hard. Uh, I go the hardest. Yeah, it is. What man. is the episode 15, huh? Yeah. Yeah, 15. Mm -hmm. Is it 15? It is 15. Yeah, 15. Wow. I like that number. Me too. <laughs> right? <laughs> 15. We got roasted last week for being on 14. I was like, did you know we literally are on like, like probably like 75, like a hundred, damn near 100. Well, I mean, yeah, I, think, I think, you know, between all the other platforms and the platform we used to have and other platforms I did, I mean, I, we've done this over a long I mean, time. Let's just face the facts, people. Right. Let's just face the facts, people. Okay. <laughs> I've been doing my own podcast for about 20 years. Every time I speak <laughs> to anybody, they went, oh, my. It's every time, oh, you have your, your voice. Oh, are you Italian? You're from New York. Are you this? Shut the fuck up. Are you a voice actor? Yeah. <laughs> you should be a voice. You should be an actor. You should be a voice actor. <laughs> What's that NPC? What is it called where they do that? Hey, hey how you doing today? Hey, hey how hey, are you? Hey, how are you? You would do that, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of those girls make a lot of money, dude. Yeah, well, I'm sure the squatters make a lot of money too. <laughs> of course they do. Right? You're not paying no rent. That's right. Should we get into it? I think we should. Does Let everybody me. think we should get into it? Let's get it on. What we got first? Stu's got a little energy today. Hey, well, right. Emily always has energy. She she wakes up like da 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 da. <laughs> that's your thing. That is no, his but thing. you still do you, that. You do the da da da. No, me. I do it, but that's where how you wake up. That's you still got fire. When I say that, I'm giving you a compliment. Thank you. Mine is more like. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> See, that, that sounds a little evil. Cancer, baby. That, that sounds a little evil <laughs> right there. Do that. Do that again. Do that again. <laughs> no, I got stage right. No, <laughs> there's not even no camera on you. <laughs> That's kind of how I wake up too. <laughs> uh, all right, sorry, Mark. We're, no, we're, <laughs> starting to sound like a, a horror film, right? Yeah, <laughs> little kid voices. All right, three, two, one. See what we got. Bang! Flip oh man, the script. There it is. Everyone talking about it. Hey, they got a reason to. Jake yeah. Paul, Mike Tyson, Netflix. Can you believe it's on Netflix? Is that the plat that's the platform? That's the craziest. I thing. think you're right about that. I agree. It's with gonna, you. Like, I think there's been a lot of misinformation going on about the rules and regulations of the fight. Yeah, misinformation. There's a lot. I mean, I don't. I, I haven't took the time to actually look up and see what the rules and regulations are. But it's everything on social media that you've been seeing. You don't know what's going on. But I'll fucking tell you one thing, Mike. You seen those sparring clips, Mike? But Mike, Mike's ready to go. He is 57, right? That's another thing. I 57. heard he's 56, 57, 58, no, 60. 57. Everybody's 57. saying everything else. He's yeah. 57. I said 57. Yeah, yeah, 57. Uh, it happens on my birthday, too. That's crazy, huh? Uh, but it being being streamed on platform with 59, 60 million, uh, you know, subscribe or, you know, uh, what are they, subscribers on, on Netflix? 
or whatnot that have the subscription. That's crazy, man. No, it that's going to be so much money, and that's why Tyson came out of retirement for that shit. Of course, fight. fight do you Jake actually Paul. think the fight will happen, or do you think it'll oh, get delayed just to be a hiccup? No, it's hundred percent. They've already did their face. Look, that's the picture of their face. No, on. I get it, but do you, but I do. I don't see if Jake Paul wins, I'll be shocked. He's not going to win. Uh, you know, How do unless you it's say that, unless Angela? it's fixed. Yeah, exactly. Unless it's fixed, you think Tyson's going to lose? I think. A good, Stu, a you think Tyson's gonna lose? No, I just said Tyson's gonna kill a guy, dude. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, I think uh, if 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 uh, Tyson doesn't get him out of there in the first round, second round, it's gonna be tough because you know that age is gonna start showing. But he's still strong. But it's Jake Paul's wearing headgear, correct? No, no, that's all fake. That's With all without mis- headgear, he's mis- still gonna go down. Like missing mis- mis- misinformation, like you said, dude. He's not. He's. This is gonna be a straight up. I think they're wearing twelve ounce gloves and straight up. Boxing match, like, and, and it's going to be, you know, it's it's in, uh, it's at Jerry's world. <laughs> so, <laughs> for the audience who doesn't know who Jerry's world is, he's talking about the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Dallas Cowboys Stadium in Texas. Yeah, that's where the, it's going to be. And that's a huge stadium, man. No, Joe, I'll be borrowing your password for Netflix that, that day. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we should do, so, you know, maybe we should do an off the script something. Like, yeah, well, it's Elson's birthday. So, yeah, yeah it is my, it's my birthday, yeah. dude. <laughs> we or should if you do something. I mean, $8 for the- <laughs> Well, maybe we should go watch it live, Mark. You want to go? Watch it live in, in Texas? In yeah, Texas. I mean, I thought you knew you and Jake Paul are buddies, aren't you? No. Uh, well, so when he, when he had one of his biggest fights, who was he fighting then? Uh, we went to his place in uh, Puerto Rico and interviewed um, Tyrone Jake, Woodley. Jake. Yeah, he was, he was going against Tyrone Woodley. Yep. So, And uh, this was like, yeah, a couple years ago. Went to his house and we had an interview with Jake Paul. And then Logan lives across the street in Puerto Rico and they're nice um, neighborhood, and uh, he walked over and he did an interview right after. But yeah. I was super impressed by Jake Paul. Um, obviously, I think he's, I think his persona and everything, he has to be that villain. Yeah. Um, and he and his past of just growing up in the in the public eye. Facts. But there is no doubt in my mind how brilliant this dude is, especially with marketing and this being pulled off. The fact that this is bigger, I think, than Logan and Mayweather. Oh, yeah. You know, so I mean, not like, even comparable. Yeah. It's just like crazy what they're doing. This lane that they created, single-handedly created, yeah. is, is blowing my mind. And uh, who ever thought, nobody ever thought that this would happen when he was on Disney Channel. Facts. This will be the most watched sporting event of all time. Wow. You th- I don't think I so. I think so. No way. No Dude, way. they're promoting it out. It doesn't happen until July. It's going to be on Netflix. It's You know how many people have Netflix uh, uh, subscriptions? You know what? The, they're going to watch. But mark this right now. This ain't going to be the biggest sporting event of all watch. time. Watch. No way. Watch. Well, no what, way. what is currently? Because with the Super Bowl... Uh, what did they say? This last, the last Super Bowl. Last, that was the most viewed Super Bowl. And then I got an argument about that with someone. Well, just, we're talking sporting events. We got to talk about football, too. Soccer. Look at there's that. a big soccer. Soccer. There's the Olympics. Yeah. There, there's, there's like you, big. You, that's in that way. Big. No way. Olympics. That's why. Well, that's yeah, the Olympics. Olympics. I don't think it's Olympics. I think it's, it's soccer. Soccer, it's right? A, a sport in, in the Olympics. I'm sure that's probably. I, I'm telling you, dude. This is going to be. They they started off early. So Champions it. League. So most viewed sports events. Champions League. Well, this is tricky because these. Yeah, they they, they all word it all th- word. Three hundred eighty million boxing is one billion. But what's the ten most watched sports events of all time? Got you. Eight 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 sports. Hopefully they're correct. Um, and let me see when this was though as well. Was it was it was a soccer game? I'm sure probably right. It wasn't a boxing event, but I. I but the thing is, this is the first boxing event live streaming on Netflix. Well, that's what you, but you, you have to understand something, dude. Not everybody does live streaming still. How many people have Netflix? I don't know. I don't give a I think it's like shit. 50, but the, the point six, is, six, six, let's say 60 million people okay. have Netflix subscription. Right. Okay. Then, just like Stu said, hey, I'm going to borrow your yeah, Netflix subscription. Shit. <laughs> or you can so, go put me the $8. So, influx <laughs> that number, right, to maybe another 5 million. So, say 65 million people. They're going to watch the event, right? And that's saying, and that's even cutting off the people that won't be watching. That'll be illegal to watching that don't have Netflix. Well, Do the, the bad thing about it is, is they're not going to have it in the bars. If you got a Netflix. No, sure. they don't do that shit. So know. these no. numbers, I have Tour de France was three point five billion. Cycling, see, see, cycling. See, he just said three point five billion. But here's cycling. the thing: but it's not, it's not a Tour de France. It can't be just like a sink because that's a longer event. Right, right. This, that's you know, like so, but, a whole okay, day. I'm glad we're having this because he just said three point five billion. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, Tour de Col- France is collectively right. It's huge. It can't be like I can't find anything like. This is one sporting event. It's but you know crazy what, soccer like, and, and you know, cycling I tell you what, is like <laughs> what? Formula One. People watch yeah, yeah. Oh, Formula well, One. Watch that that shit like crazy. Now, now. 
No, the 24-hour Le Mans, a lot of people watched that back in the day. I think so, but I think now it's been, like, it's it's kind of worldwide now. It's always been worldwide, though. I know, but I'm saying, like, I think United States is coming along. That's the only country that really wasn't. Now you got Vegas, you got, you know, well, Florida. Well, Vegas was a shit show. Miami, yeah. yeah. No? No, there's, uh, you would have liked this, uh, Kentucky Derby in, uh, let's see. <laughs> Kentucky Derby. Oh, it's coming up in about a month. <laughs> yeah, look, Daytona look. 500. No one talked to me that week. <laughs> I'm not taking any fucking phone calls either, especially on the day of the race. Yeah, people, I got people hit me up. I've heard in years. I go, dude, I, I, dude, one dude I really didn't like. He hit me up. He goes, who do you like? I go, all of them. He said that same shit last year. Yeah, just, just, don't, just, you don't, 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 don't call me. I mean, if anybody in this room called me, that's different. If my people back home that you all know who you are, if you call me different. Now, any schmuck on the street or anybody else, no. Man, have you seen those, the, the uh, Tyson... Um, Training videos, yeah, oh yeah, the uh, one where he's like, I showed him a bunch day of three, you still want to fuck with yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I was like, oh my, <laughs> this dude, guy. he's in shape, bro. <laughs> All right, yeah, we we, we <laughs> he's in, we're, we're still on that statement because yeah. Joe, 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 I just got, I just don't believe you. <laughs> the most watched sporting no, event you just, of all you, time because you called it out. I don't believe that <laughs> you're out your mind. <laughs> We'll see. All right, let's then. go to the next one, brother. <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll come back to you later, Dan, on that shit. <laughs> all right, here we go. Three, two, one. California mom alleged ringleader behind mm. eight million dollar retail theft ring that hit over two hundred Alta stores. Wow, and others. So I read this. I came across this, and I was shocked. Bro. California, huh? It, she was based in San Diego. She Jesus. was flying these women all wow. over the country, wow. and flying them out, put them in hotels, and then they would steal the product and send it back to them. Mm. Now, the best thing for me about this is she got caught. Because I think we're starting to see now they're they're finding these people now they're they're charging them just like with the smashing grabs they're starting right. to find these guys and now charging them it's finally coming to halt. I wonder how long she was doing this for. She's uh, she was doing it for years. Yeah, she's fifty three. Yeah, she was doing it for years. Yeah. This I, is recent too, huh? Yeah, it just happened. Man, this is insane. Bro. I mean, I just don't. You know, every time you think someone's going to surprise you, see it's just like. So she they, she was they were getting the product stolen and then she would sell it online. That makes sense. That was a lick she was hitting. That's crazy. For a long time. That's called capitalism. Yeah. Well, in a big way. In a big way. I mean, you know, hey, she got caught. And they were wasting a lot of the money on the hotels. They could have just been squatting in the <laughs> <laughs> Save a few bucks. Hey, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> I love how I love, Joe, I love, Joe, <laughs> Joe took the, like, <laughs> the saint route and everybody else was like, I don't see him, but fuck it. <laughs> no, I, I just... Uh, <laughs> See, if I try to do something like that, I get caught. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For a number of fucking reasons. <laughs> you don't wear makeup. No, no, I'm just saying, I said something like that. I said something like no, that. I get it. I, I get what you're saying. Fucking dick. <laughs> you know, you'd be doing something like that. Alta? If I'm not cheating, if I'm not trying. No, I'm what? talking about you probably could steal some makeup and sell it, right? I, but I wouldn't want to. Like, I, See, it reminds me of like Frank Gallagher. I don't know if you guys ever watched Shameless, but like, there's like a method to the madness, and a party is like, Pissed because you're like you grimy ass. You know, <laughs> grimy, but such then a good a word. He was like, "That's an art, like yeah. to be that grimy and like cognitive. Like I commend you. That's an art. Like I would never do that. I don't have the heart to do that. But I but commend see, you. usually eight million yeah. is a lot. Yeah, but you, <clears throat> usually, in someone in a situation like that, someone snitched. Oh yeah, of course. And that's you, what it always comes down to. Yeah, yeah. So they think they have this great circle of people that we're gonna run this empire doing shit, and they get popped. Yeah, man, you can't. Yeah. I mean, it was just like those Cadillac converters for years, dude. That was a big ass ring. It was it in New, is. but it was in New Jersey. Yeah, like yeah. the head guy. It was still a cross country thing. So when was the last time you guys shoplifted? Shit. I was a kid. I maybe. think I was thirty-eight. No, <laughs> I think it was sixteen. Sixteen. And the, I think this is the only thing I ever did. Like we were, I was going to a winter ball or some shit. And I had a I, my mom mom gave me money to go buy shit, and we just walked by a store, and I took a tie and put it in a bag and kept walking. Nothing happened. Damn. I think that's the only time. A tie? It was, yeah, because you stole a tie. I stole a tie. Wow. But see, the thing is, it's like my big ass couldn't hide or do anything. So I mean, I was always bigger. So I was, you yeah. know, I couldn't sneak around. Like I mean, I'm sure Stu could have made a good thief, you know, because he's a little smaller stature. And, uh, and I, you know, I just, I, that's what I think. I ran down on this fool and I pulled a pan off of him and I got 30 kick. No, I'm just like, I, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, he's telling the no. I stole my last, the, uh, what I stole from a, from a store is a baseball mitt and a pack of Oreo uh, crumble cookies. That was the last <laughs> thing I stole and I got caught. 
I got my ass Damn. whooped. By who? Your mom my used dad. to whip you. Uh, you, you, dad, you yeah. Yeah. Your mom I was like probably ass. like 13. Because, yeah, I, I think. You got caught with the cookies or the mint? I got caught with both of them. And my babysitter was, was with different, me. Was a different. A babysitter put me on to it. I wasn't still. Did you have a crush on your babysitter? Not at all. She was a. Did she have a crush on you? Why has this got to get that way? Really <laughs> well, this will be, like we need to tone it down. I, 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 hold on, hold on. I, I guess <laughs> like, no. since she didn't bring her her hat, she doesn't know what this is called off she, the strip. This is what we do. I know, but this is therapy. Like we don't oh, want to bring uh, trauma if that's a case. No, case. she didn't. Trying to do all that. She didn't like what's swinging between my legs, so she liked the. <laughs> other, she likes the other. You know, so like no, she didn't have a crush on me. She was just this really escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Oh shit! But she, uh, yeah, no, she put me onto that, and then I got my ass whooped, yeah. Yeah. and then I never stole anything again. Yeah, yeah I, I stole a shirt. It was like we're at Sears. See, it's always something stupid. It, yeah, because I did. It was I, I was just needing to do it, right? <laughs> need, <laughs> needing to do it. Yeah, and, and it, it was like a Miller High Life shirt or something. Yeah, and yeah. I did it, and I crotched it or whatever. Walked out, and I felt so bad. My conscience was like, "You fucking idiot!" <laughs> and I threw it away in the trash. And I never stole anything again. <laughs> right? You're so cute. What about you? <laughs> So I feel horrible like confessing this right now because I got away with it multiple times. Uh oh. But gotcha. like in high school, like we I had a click, my girls know who they are. And there was this like one, I don't know what you'd call it, like stand in the mall. It was like in the middle of the mall and it had like these fake blingy jewelry things. Sure. Dude, anything that's shiny caught my attention. Of course, I'm right. in like high school, right. so we would like orchestrate. We were like like Linus's, like on the <laughs> we we're like, oh yeah, okay. So someone would be like, oh, I like this bracelet, and like try it on in front of like the teller or whatever. Right, right, right. And then like the other three of us would be like, all right. And it was bad, and we always got away with stuff. It was so bad. It was so bad. And then when Christmas came Smart. around, we're like, hey, mom, Merry Christmas. She's like, how'd you get this? I'm like, well, so and so's mom took me out. They let me buy it. Like, you know, it's so, yeah, I feel bad. I wish I had a guilty conscience. So I'm like, now I'm paying for it. Um, but it's okay. I'm know? now paying for it. Because I work harder than an ugly stripper. So it's like, you know, I, I gotta make up for it somehow. An ugly stripper. I, I like how she sh uh, was shouting out her click, too. You know? I know, right? So POP holding it down. <laughs> Girls, I'm not gonna say our hood name, but you know who you is. Smiles, Mamacita. Hey, I'm right. not gonna go forward, but there we go. We're gonna bring out the detectives right now. <laughs> All right, what Stu, about Stu? What about yeah, Stu? 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 I stole I stole a treadmill. <laughs> what? <laughs> you stole what? A, a treadmill? <laughs> I'm fucking around. I was like, how do you walk off? How did you what? fucking come up with <laughs> You pocket you put it in your pocket and yeah. I, I used to work at a sporting goods store in So you did he really did. did. You yeah. really fucking did. <laughs> he did. No, no. And they were going out of business and I'm like, I would steal a treadmill right now if it fit in my pants. Right, right, right. Oh, so you saying. didn't steal anything. Oh, so funny. you never stole anything. No, I stole stuff. What'd you steal? A packet like now later. <laughs> <laughs> now later. He's like, yeah, across the street at the liquor store before we came up. <laughs> yeah. You either got that in you or you don't. Yeah, that's a lot just of way you know, is. people that steal shit, you know, that's a tough life. No, yeah, it is because since we brought this up and um, put my personal shit out here, my car did get breaking. It, it did, it does. And the They're funniest thing, and there's no way you're watching if you are, fuck off. But the, the biggest thing is, how you like them apples when he went in that prop bag and found all those hundred dollar bills <laughs> oh, that were fake, yeah. motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> that's How you it. like that shit? That shit. That's the only thing I got out of it. Because yeah. other stuff can be replaced, and a lot of stuff was given to me, dude. But that shit was funny to me. That's why when I told when you told me that story, I told you that's why no other of your neighbors' cars got broken into is because they hit your shit, and then they were like, "Oh, I yeah. came up because yep. you know it's yep. dark." They thought that was real money, so they was like, "We out." And I guarantee you, that's what happened. How many to be a fly yeah. on the wall for that situation? <laughs> right. How many fake one hundreds are in there? Bro, there were, because it's probably like because, three or four thousand. No, 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 because Bobby gave me like a ten <laughs> band, right? Yeah, yeah. It was he gave like me, a, he, Bobby gave me shout out to Bobby Lawson. He gave me <laughs> I ten saw bands. Him, huh? He gave me like a ten band. Right? Yeah, ten bands. Ten bands, and I and I, dude, because we've been using them so much. Yeah. I gave you some. There's probably like three or four thousand. Yeah, that's what I would say. All wadded up in the bag, all. Huh? And they didn't know any better no at idea. dark time yeah. too. <laughs> That's and they funny. probably saw you walking in the car. They're like, "Damn, this guy's up to something." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, shit. Because the where where you park too, bro. I'm like, damn. Yeah. They would have hit everything. Yeah. Like you know, exactly. I saw most car thieves do it. You know, they hit That's the whole complex. That's fucking you know? hilarious. Oh, <laughs> his babysitter told him <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't like what's swinging between my uh. legs. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, what's the next one, dude? All right, three, two, one. We got an Ohio toddler died. Oh, another one. Here we go. After her mom left her home alone while she took a 10-day oh, vacation, no. a judge called it the ultimate act of betrayal. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. I uh, am Joe. <laughs> no, because this is serious shit that's that people f- know about. It. And I'm going to tell you, I started crying when I read this yeah. because this poor child never got a chance. Uh. And now, you know, it's mental illness. But how do you just leave two bottles for a baby and decide to go to Puerto Rico and just leave? That's insane. And not even giving this ch- kid any kind of chance. And it's heartbreaking because when you see these kind of stories, it makes me be so thankful when I was a kid that I was raised yeah. by my great parents, like the way everybody else was in this room, you know, and, and just to see that. And I, you know, I don't have a lot of heart for someone that does that. To someone it's like murder. That. Yeah, and that's what it's just disgusting. Facts. And it, I mean, I don't. Capital murder. And unfortunately, if you have mental issues, I'm sorry, but you knew you had them before you had the kid. Someone, no. so, somewhere in the family knew that she had some kind of mental thing going on. Mm. You know, no one got, helped her out. So, I mean, it's. I know we laugh and have a lot of fun on this show, but. This is some serious shit, and it's just when I read stuff like this, I just I break down because I'm such a <clears throat> passionate human being about life. Right, right. Yeah, this kid, had, it's sad, dude. Look, look that's look, that's look, one of the saddest stories. You know, stories never I've had ever a heard. chance. Never had a chance, and it happens more than we think. It's crazy, dude. How do you do that? Like you said, mental illness, or yeah. you or, know, you're stuck on. You want to party so hard. I don't see how you don't have family to come. Yeah, check, I don't like I don't watch get the, the whole thing. Like, what I the, mean, I think there's more behind the story than take it to the police it. department. Yeah, like, for sure. like, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Well, that she deserves everything, everything that comes. Everything to her, she gets for sure. Yeah, her, her. Yeah, that's terrible, man. Wow. <laughs> and I know. Yeah. Does anyone? Anyone want to speak on this? As a mom, as, as a mom, mom of three, as a mom of three. I don't leave my kids to pay my bills. I don't leave them. Like, there's certain, like, it's how do you do that? Like, how do you do that to get, and even then, like, if I didn't have kids as a mother, right? right how do you do that to a human being? Like, a helpless person. Like, how do you do that? Uh, I don't get it. Me neither. I don't. That's, it, like, that's, why, that's not, why I like, want to do it. I'm sensitive to mental illness and, like, you know, being aware of our m- mental health, but that's, yeah. that's not an excuse. Like, yeah. You know, like, self help for sure, but. That's not an excuse for you to leave someone else high and dry like that. Yeah. I think Joe said it best. Like, it, it, obviously, people in her life that were around knew her it. knew she had issues and she has a baby. And, you know, it's not their fault. But at the same time, it's like, who raised you? Well, no, the thing is, but see, the, that's the other thing about it. For 10 days, you figure no one from the family checked up on anything. That's like, crazy. a neighbor heard a cry from a ring cam. Well, I'm sure she's standoffish if she's got mental issues. Like, there's always more to the story. Than yeah, for sure. Yeah, of know, course. It's like what so the press is putting out there and everything else. Sure right. we're not getting. Yeah. But right. at the end of the day, like, can you imagine the person that heard that crying and the guilt that they yeah. feel now? For you not. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like there's so many domino effects to it. At the end of the day, like, if you know, like, your cousin or whoever it was that has mental illness, but they had a kid, like, Facts. you got to go check in on this kid, you know? Mm-hmm. And, like, there's situations that I hear within my own family that I'm like, damn, like, yeah, you know, right, right. so cringy. But, you know, my I, I for me, I guess the best, I just pray a lot. I'm like, you know, I put it in God's hands, and, like, I will check it as best as I can, as often as I can. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That's crazy, though, bro. Hey, that's, yep, wow. It's really, uh, Let's pick this back yeah, up a little bit. Let's move, move it around. <laughs> Moving around. I'm sorry, but I got to find stuff that, you know. Uh, no, that's that was deep, man. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I, I never heard that either, too. Don't have kids aesthetically because you think that's how it should go. That's yeah. it. They, they, they have dogs aesthetically, right? It's yeah, like, don't, just d- don't. D- yeah. don't if you raise can't care something. For yourself, yeah, exactly. If you cannot care for yourself, don't think you can like care for Facts. others or animals. Or, or animals like or anything. Yeah. yeah. True. Cheers, next. Cheers. Subject, so <laughs> yeah, get, get plants. You guys get have plants. plants. <laughs> you guys have plants. So you, you did. You name one of your plants. <laughs> yeah, all of them. Yeah, we have. Uh, we have a lot of different ones. Was yeah. it a squatter? Or? Uh, no, Greg. Oh, Greg is us. We have Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo, and Greg. You gotta put Greg. this in the title yeah. now. But uh, yeah, <laughs> squatter. Squatter. I brought home so many plants. Like I make eye Eeny, contact Miny, with Mo them. And I'm like, Greg. ooh, I love you. You're so luscious. You're coming home with me, and you're gonna die. And because like I can never keep them alive. I only have Hubert and Katie. Those are the only two I have left. 
Wow. wow. <laughs> they always die, huh? <laughs> and she doesn't even smoke longer. weed like Lance does. She comes out of left field. I love it. That's 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 pretty good. That's really good. You gotta get easy plant. Easy plant, you only have to water them once a month. Facts. All my plants here are, yep. except for that one's fake back there, but everything else in our place is all real. And I like it's all Greg. easy plant. Yeah, Greg. So you just water them once a month and it's a reservoir, a drip. It's like Do a you and Greg plant. have deep talks? Uh, yeah, yeah, because if you talk to your plants, they grow more. No, I've done that. It's true. It's, it's very so true. true. I concur. Mm -hmm. oh, Joe, you don't got no plants? Hell no. Come on, you gotta get Joe, plants. You gotta get a plant. I don't need to do a damn thing. It helps you sleep. It's oxygen. Yeah, is this true? No. That's what you're missing. I need a dog. <laughs> and a plant. I need a dog and a wife. And I probably had the dog before the wife. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna I'm gonna bring that next since we're talking about this right now. I'm gonna bring that that next segment uh, yeah, yeah. up later. Yeah, uh, the NFL one. Uh, I want to I want to talk about this really quick. Um, I was saving it, but I'm gonna use it since and that. I'm gonna get funny. this ready. What what, uh, what do I have to look up? It, uh, it's gonna be the um, NFL um, um, free agency uh, uh, frenzy. No, no. What was it called? Uh, the NFL. Oh, here, I got you right here. It's the uh, NFL. I think, I think uh, you might have texted it. To me I did. Too. I did. Yeah, uh, so I'm, <clears throat> NFL free agency tracker. Got it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So look forward to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be right back to it. Yeah. But I wanted to ask this because you guys are talking about people talking to plants and all that stuff. So uh, I wanted to say, uh, basically. We, we just left field to left field because <laughs> right. he's like, oh, since you brought that up, I have this crazy <laughs> ass thing did. I was preparing. He just about, put it right into it. He just fucking <laughs> let him right into it. Do you, <laughs> you guys did. He's been it on was, left field every, every day, all day today. Do you think that. There it is. Yep. Say out of your left field. Hey. Hello. Do you think that your voice is the current currency that you have in life? Uh, what? Yes. Wait, what do you mean by that? Explain this a little bit more. Okay, I will. So uh, outside of just like words being powerful, right? Is it like, so like, you know, outside of like materialistic things, like we, you know, we used to barter. Now we, you know, have currency that we use. But if you go back into old days and, and Shogun, I got this from Shogun. Uh, our, you know, our, 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 our voice and what we say to people and how we, all right, let me break this down. <laughs> Imagine, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you the story. So I was recruited by the CIA in high school and it was just strictly, uh, you know, just ideology things. So I would just be planted places to tell people and change people's ideas and mindsets on on big deals and powerful things, but I would just be quiet about it all, right? I moved, you know, I'm, I'm in four, I'm from four different states. You see me move from four different states. I work for a government now. You see the narrative that I've created? Yeah, I, I saw a documentary on this. That's why I that's, just made all that up, but yeah. it's that's a narrative I, I created. But you, for that's the power know, of, a damn That's fan. what I mean by it. That's the power that's of, our of, of are currency, yeah. right? Like when you don't, when you're stripped away from everything else, that that's what you got left, right? Well, I would say, so your ability to speak is your ability to think yep. as well. And, you know, it could be used for bad, like in those situations. Right. I forget the documentary, but it was a guy, it was, it was in a different country, but he was telling people that he was part of the, it wasn't the CIA, but whatever country it was. Right. And he got these people to go along with him and then to siphon all the money from their families. And they went on, a, they had to go on this trip for however long until they didn't, you know, they just trusted this person and trust goes a long way too. Yeah. I know Joe is a big fan of that. And it's trust from, from that. Yeah. But so if you can, so I always talk about being a weapon of certainty based on your whole life experience. If you can communicate yourself with your, your currency of your, of your voice and, and speaking to people and communicating, then you can do anything you want in this world, but you can also do anything you want in this world and do something negative like that. Right. You can manip well, the manipulation part of it. That's what it really comes from. Well, that's, know? well, yeah. I, you know, the story was just fictitious. You know, I just was thinking of what, you know, like what, you know, like, eh. but it didn't well, come off fictitious. Well, cause there's so many facts do. in there, right? Like I, I moved that's from state to state. I could have been recreated. I, I could have been recruited by the CIA. I know you still, you could be a fed. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past your ass at all. But with your first statement, uh, original like statement, of, yes. yeah, with your original statement, yes. yes. But like with AI, it's almost kind of scary because like they do mashups with like Ariana Grande and like her voice, like it's kind of creepy. Like you could take someone's voice, but like I think actions are also words. Does that make sense? So like what I say Absolutely. and like how I act on that, yeah. you know, like so I don't, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just it. it 
ideology and like and like uh manipulation or however you want whatever you want to say like like thinking of like how to move uh pieces on the chessboard is more powerful than weapons to me like like a, a, a nuclear bomb or something because you can go into a place and control a huge amount of people with words right I guess that's what no, I'm yeah, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> yeah, what, yeah. That's what I'm trying to no. say. <laughs> and, people, and people are followers, and right? They are, yeah. And, and most people don't use, don't speak up and use their voice to actually create something in their life because they're like, I don't want to bug somebody. I don't right. want. But those people that can go out there and just say, even think of a, as a, an event. If you go to an event, some people can go in there and talk to every single person and yeah. pull, extract something great out of it, and then make that into something else, into something else. Like, Other people just go and sit on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Dark or like whatever, but like even Hitler, like look at all the people that he employed. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, he probably man. invented squatting. <laughs> <laughs> that's you know that's the name of this like podcast. Like Hitler invented squatting. squatting. I gotta squatting. put it. It's gonna be in the title. So then you got it. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> telling you. Ah, mm-hmm. I, I don't know, man. I guess that, that was, was pretty deep. That, that, that know, was right? very left field. <laughs> very left field. Well, you guys brought up the food. I kind of was wanted to talk a little bit about that. Do you want to go back to that, or do you want to? I don't. Something really, else? We can do whatever we want. Uh, I, I'll tell you what. Let's do some NFL. Whatever. Go ahead. NFL. Fire it up, Lance. Keep on going. <laughs> don't fucking have a dead moment here. Just keep it going with your weird ass shit. What if I just sit back and just chill? Joe, what did you have for breakfast? A Not lot. a goddamn thing. Okay, Lance. <laughs> Uh, I didn't have anything either for breakfast. Why? What's wrong with you guys? I four, lunch. Four we don't, we don't live with kids. We're all bachelors <laughs> in here except Mark. Mark, four, four hard boiled eggs. Every every day, every morning, I have a banana and four hard boiled eggs. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Your That's gas consistent. must be amazing. <laughs> What's that? Your gas must be amazing. Your, yeah. No, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty consistent. <laughs> it's pretty consistent. Uh, for lunch, I had chicken breast though, and, and, oh, did and you? like a. A little bit of rice. That was yeah, it. that's it. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh, you want to talk about this, right? <laughs> uh, so this is so this is the tracker. But um, is this what you? Does this look about right? Well, Let's I see. think the biggest thing that went on is the whole uh, running back carousel that went on. I think it's a CBS. The, the running back CBS carousel sports? has yeah. been crazy, dude. If you just go into Google and put in NFL tracker 2024, I think it'll pop up. Get, keep going though. The, uh, the running back carousel has been insane. Uh, you got Derrick Henry went to Baltimore. Yeah. Josh Jacobs went to Green Bay. Facts. You had uh, it's disgusting. What? Who? I don't care. He went. I, that dude I is hurt every other year, bro. Well, and then where did Aaron Jones go? Did he go to Arizona? No, he went to Minnesota, right? One of the two. Yeah, I mean, he went to Arizona. Saying. I mean, no, he went no. to uh, Minnesota. Well, no, for sure. But I'll tell you, the big one to me was Joe uh, Mixon. He went. He went to the Texans. Well, and he took that pay cut and then had to leave. Yeah, he, that he, sucks. That, they he, do but, you like that? Yeah, well, they don't oh, care. Look at this. Kirk Cousins. Who's, uh, <clears throat> how much money has this guy fucking made, bro? Do you know who what agency he signed with? Who? You, Mastermind? Vayner Sports. Oh, really? Gary Vaynerchuk and his his brother AJ have their uh, sports agency. And uh, yeah, they have him. Wow. This guy's made what? Dude, Cousins. Michigan is, State, too. C- Cousins, what, 36 years old, coming off of eight, uh, Achilles tear. They paid him $180 million. <laughs> Four years, $180 million. $180 million. That's insane, dude. Chris Jones, I see. Josh Allen, you know, he needed to get read up. But I, I, these team, this free agency has been crazy. I mean, I think, in the NFL, I think in the NFL it's getting crazier and crazier every single year because every year they had $30 million to the to the cap. Yep. And now, now it's just like Mike Evans is still out there, though. Huh? Well, and you see what the Rams. I think everybody's taking the Rams play sheet, right? Where did Mike Evans go? He went to. Uh, no, is he still out there? Shit, no, he he went somewhere. No, 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 no. I'm thinking Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen Keenan went, went to the, to the Bears. Bears. Yeah, I don't know. I think Mike's still out there. But the Rams, you know how they got? Who, they who got Jalen Ramsey. Mike yeah. yeah, Mike Evans. They got Jalen Ramsey. Right. Aaron. They had Aaron Don. All these. They went all in. And I think a lot of teams right now are just like, all right, let's go all in for these. For That's these. Mike Evans at the top. Does it say where he went? Uh, t- no, he stayed in Tampa Bay for the two years, fifty-two million. Oh, okay, so they paid him. That's a huge contract, and they paid Baker too. Well, I mean, they had to. They couldn't go anywhere else. They had to. They have a starting quarterback on their team. I think if we go to that Calvin Ridley number seventeen there too, look at that. What is that? Four years, ninety-two million, and you at, and who do you have on your who did you have on your team? Yeah, that's <laughs> look at this one. Saquon Barkley. Yeah, three years, three. Well, he Wait. he he needed to get paid. I understand that. Oh, 
Yeah, this is this is that. I mean, this this this. I, I like. I oh, he's still out there. The big like, Trent Brown. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just like I said. I think it just changes every year. So. Oh, I know you had some more to say about this. What about T Higgins? Who gives a shit about T Higgins? No, the thing about it is they're not paying running backs anymore. I don't know why, and, and that's what I'm saying. I mean, you have. So that was supposed to be the cornerstones of teams, offensive lines and running backs. Now it's receivers and, and quarterbacks and offensive line. That just doesn't make any sense. Derek Supply Henry's and demand. Only, yeah. Derek Henry is only getting like $18 million a year for Where's two years at? Ravens. Baltimore, right? Oh. I mean, that's going to be serious. Uh, we'll see. It's all on paper, dude. We ain't going to know what's going to happen. And not only that. That's what free agency We, we is, talk right? about off the script. We, we ain't talking about the NFL script because that, that that's still in process right now, even though they came out. And I told Mark a couple weeks ago, they said Cincinnati, Detroit in the Super Bowl next year. <laughs> Cincinnati, Cincinnati, They'll Detroit. probably have a squatting convention at the damn Super Bowl. <laughs> but, oh, you know, I mean, since we were on sports a little bit, it's crazy to me because, you know, a lot of people know the Dodgers last night. and, and They oh, played like in this. Korea. Is this the corner? No. No, not yet. Corners, no. Corners going to be serious today, too. We um know. They played the Dodgers played the San Diego Padres in Korea last night. At, uh, excuse me, this morning at three a.m. and they're gonna play again to, uh, tonight uh, tomorrow at three a.m. in Korea, right? In Korea, but then they come back and they're gonna play the the freeway series with the Angels, which is still preseason. And then they open what's up the freeway season for everybody? For the Anaheim and Anaheim, the Dodgers. And there was a bomb gotcha. threat at the game last night too, as well. Or in Korea? Yeah. Didn't he hit one through the glass? Uh, um, Dome two or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think. I mean, it's too early for me to even get into baseball. Baseball yeah. fans have got to be the most dedicated fan base out there. I mean, there's 162 uh, games, 62 games playing yeah. in Korea at 3 a.m. in the morning over here. Were you watching the game last <laughs> this no, morning? Hell no, I was asleep. I was trying to sleep. I think this on. is his point. No, that's my point. I just don't understand how people get so dedicated about that. And not only that, like I'd like to go to Dodger game this year. And then, you know, if Mark hit me up or you hit me up, and hit anybody in here, guy hey, Joe, you want? I got a ticket to game. Let's go. You know, any normal, any normal, reasonable human being would go. All right, you got me the ticket, then I'm gonna take care of everything else. Right. Well, guess what? Taking care of everything else can be more than the fucking <laughs> ticket. <laughs> hey, Joe, uh, you want to talk about the the parking at Universal? <laughs> Don't even get me look fucking like started on that look, shit. Look, look, he's, I actually, he's no, hold on, no, no, hold on, dude. I appreciate <laughs> that. No, no, no. Okay, there you go. He just brought up fucking something. Oh now here's the fucking thing that fucking happened. Just get Lead me. names I, out. No, no I, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> now we we had a mutual friend that was up there. He was a big fan of the podcast. James East. He was up there with someone going to be, and then we we knew someone from a love platform that was up there. So let's go to Universal. Emily couldn't go because she, you know, she's doing her family thing. She's the mother of the year, and I'd say that respectfully. I love oh, her. Like, she's such a great mother. Nice. She's a great mother. She, she didn't go. Okay, so we go, and we decide like, Lance come to my house, we'll go to Stu's. Stu can drive because you know me and him are gonna have a couple cocktails with her. It took us about an hour and fifteen minutes to figure out the parking situation because everybody went all fucking cheap and it went around the and it's a great story. First we tried to go, the gate was thirty two dollars. Lance says, No, I go, I got it. No, Lance, no, come on. So then we went down the ramp, we tried to park somewhere else that he couldn't park there. Then Stu will act like, Oh, I'm going to Buca de Pepo, so he tried to give me a free pass. <laughs> okay, so he tried to get a free pass, right? So then then, then we're going, he goes, Well and then Lance, I don't know, man, they're gonna check your car. And then we decided after that about 45 minutes that we're just going to pay. <laughs> then we had some asshole. After you're already in? Yeah. No, but, we weren't in yet. I, no, I got to say. They had tags, They, they bro. had tags and all this. They right. were looking. They had the, they had they had security. Had the security looking yeah. around and doing everything. And then there was a guy with the New Mexico plates. Was it the New Mexico plates? <laughs> yeah. Or whatever it was. The with Silverado. his truck. They didn't know how to do anything. And then Lance, oh, he's staring. And we got out of the car. We had a staring contest. Like, we're going to throw down and shit. And we're not even in the damn park. <laughs> not even. Okay. You, guys are, you guys are in Jurassic Parking? <laughs> no, yeah, we, it, it was just It the was most, Jurassic Park. <laughs> where yeah. we were parking at. It That's was the most ridiculous literally. shit I've ever... <laughs> And, and me, it was, it was funny because we made, made fun of a bit, dude. Thirty two dollars. We should just paid like, right at the beginning. Yeah, like we did, said. but it was a whole you know, comedy of errors. My, my, I got so many, so many times we went to Jurassic Parking and then showed our um, Buca de Beppo uh, 
pocket protector and you got free parking because they thought we worked yeah, there. Yeah, but it's different now. Oh, it is. They're it, on they're, your they're ass. Throw that away? I got yeah. a Cinemark free and they, they get it tripped out. And well, no. I know because you got to look, you got to think about that. <laughs> they was going to no, get No, because ass, I, know, I know Stu's ass. I know Stu. They were going to get him. Stu, if, if, they got, if Stu got his co- car towed out or whatever, <laughs> Stu would have been fucking pissed. We uh, did too much. So the, we they, went they through the same fucking. We they went through the same. Too, they saw us too much. <laughs> went through the same town yeah, like we went four times. Same game like three or four times. It was like that, that girl game. and that yeah, girl. You guys, you guys just look guilty. <laughs> yeah. Ever since Lance got his ass kicked by his dad when he was younger, he doesn't steal shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we're gonna get caught, man. We're gonna get caught. <laughs> No, it was super sketchy though, Mark. You would have, you, you guys all would have been. You guys like, should just park down the street in Uber for ten bucks. Yeah, well, 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 that's, that's what, what we, we talked about. Uber from my house. Uh, from his house. Yeah, that's that's what that, that was, see, yeah, that's oh, he, what we should have done. Here's, well, he lives here's, in a, city. here's a transition from that, Joe. You know, some somewhat of this story. I took an Uber recently. Right. Oh God. And uh, I, uh, we went. To, we were coming from couples therapy, so we get into this car. And like, just had a great session, feeling good, like clearly communicating and everything. And this guy's on the phone with a, a chick, our Uber driver, and doesn't say anything to us. We just get in the car and he's talking to his chick. Yeah, babe, you know, I'm just, you know, it's just, speaker? you know, what's that? Speaker? On speakerphone. Oh, wow. And so he's just, yeah, you know, and he's just talking to her. And then they talk about, you know, but hey, even if I take a girl out, you know, I always, at least I'm going to feed her. And like, and like <laughs> the fuck, they start talking sexually a little bit. And, and Jai is furious. She's right. she's like, shows me on her phone. I started recording it. And she shows me on her phone. She's like, what in the actual fuck is happening? And she's like, you can report this and like get your money back. Right. And I'm just getting mad and mad every second that goes um, by. And then eventually he starts talking about buying food for anyone he sleeps with. <laughs> <laughs> so the chick on the other line, she's talking, and then I go, um, you know, he goes, uh, you know, get, get her a sub or something. I'm like, where you guys go, Jersey Mike's or something? And uh, he goes, oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I go to Jersey Mike's. Uh, and then um, she didn't, she thought it was still him talking. So then she's still talking to him, and I'm like, fuck, she didn't hear me because if he's gonna be a dick, I'll be a dick. Right, right, I'll be right. a bigger dick. And then I go, hey, so when you go, to, uh, you get a number seven, at, you get it Mike's way, or what do you like? How do you get your sub? And then she's like, who is that? And then he's like, oh, this is my passengers, babe. And then she's like, oh, hey, guys. All right. And I started just talking to her. Hey, how you doing? How you? I'm going to blow up his spot if he's fucking right, right. So I, then she eventually gets off the phone. I recorded the whole thing. I think I'm going to post it as a TikTok. That's fine. You then, should, bro. But I paid like $45. Yeah. I, I had a two spot. I, I had a drop Jai off. And then I was going to North Hollywood. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to be with this guy for the next 45 minutes. Did you right. on the him? phone? Um, yeah, I think I did. Yeah, he's, yeah but, Mark's going to Did you really? I think, yeah. I, I think by the end, because by the end of it, I was talking about life. And about his family and stuff. Because once he got off the phone with her, I saw, you know, I wasn't mad anymore. I had right. like 30 minutes to talk to his ass. Yeah, but has funny. any, you guys have any weird Uber stories? That's, that's funny. funny. So that's I have funny. weird stories. That's funny as hell. I think, I think it's kind of like an early April Fool's gift to you guys. Like after your therapy, you guys get to hear their therapy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, I would have been like, hey, so you get to buy anyone lunch? Your wife or your lady is okay with that? Uh, yeah. Let's go to Buka. Yeah. So Emily, you're an, you're, an, you're an April Fool's person, huh? I'm a fool all the way around. <laughs> I'm going to block you on that day. I ain't taking a phone call from you oh, at all. God. I don't like that goddamn shit. Fool phone calls with this guy. <laughs> if you, I, mean, I get to see an April Fool's calling about some shit, trying to pull out of some shit on you. you what just, would I what who I, knows? Would You're a say? clever woman. Who knows? You can figure some true. shit out. This is true. <laughs> shit. I'm before April Fool's. No, it's funny you guys bring that up because I, I'm a big person about energy and the universe. And that story is great. But see, on Saturday, I had some shit that went down and I walked away and I was like, what the fuck? Because it was so fun in the beginning. I went to the bank because I had to take care of some business because I had to go um, <clears throat> make some investments that day. Is that, a, is that mob talk for robbing a bank? No, I had, to, I, I had to go. I had to go get some. I had to take care of some business. I was going to go make some investments later the day. <laughs> so that made it sound better. So everybody knows what I was probably doing. I don't like to talk about. So, yeah, sure. so I drive up. <laughs> And, you know, I see this dude, and he's trying to walk over. I go, hey, man, go ahead. And he's all, no. And he's doing back. I go, bro. And I roll down. I'm trying to be a gentleman. He's all, no, you're fine. I get out of the car. He tells me the story. He's all, I appreciate it. And he goes, you know, years ago I was in Hollywood, and this guy wanted to let me go through the door, and I told him no. Right. Well, the place was getting robbed. Some dude got shot in the head, (laughs) fell back onto him, the guy that he let go forward. So he goes, I've always let 
people go ahead of me because you know what's going to happen. Wow. So he's telling me the story. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? And the security guy looks at me. He's like, no, you're a nice guy, man. And I'm in a fucking sweatsuit with my shit on and whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, you go to the track. Yeah, so, track. yeah exactly. So you I go. So, hold on yourself. So I don't give a shit. <laughs> so I know how everybody responds to me. So then I go to the ATM, bro, and I'm doing all this shit. I got these little residual checks and fucking doing it. And so Facts. I'm done, and there's this lady behind me. And I go, I'm sorry I'm taking so long. Go ahead. Because I'm on the side. I'm putting receipts and getting my my um, investment, <laughs> Good see my investment rolled yeah. together. Portfolio? Yeah. yeah. Terrible. And the <laughs> fucking, she looks at me like I fucking just pissed in her Cheerios. She goes, I'll just wait. I can't stand next to you. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm just like, you're talking about like an energy killer, especially after I just what I witnessed in the parking lot. And I go out and tell the security guard, he goes, oh, it was sold that one. And I go, yeah. And he goes, man, she does it all the time. And he goes, here. And he gave me candy. I don't want no candy. <laughs> he gave so, you a yeah, so I get back in the car and I'm just like, I'm sitting there and I'm like. Taking candy from adults is crazy. What, what, what did I just witness? <laughs> and I think in every day, I mean, because I talk to people in the public a lot. I believe you do. Emily does. And I know you do, Stu. I know you don't do much. And you talk to regular people. You're like, your people, you, you don't run into a lot. And I'm just telling you, that's something that, that that shit you try to be nice. That energy, it's just weird. These people are so strange now. What goes on? Facts. How was the butterscotch? Was it pretty good? No, I didn't eat the damn thing. <laughs> Taking candy from a doll is crazy. No, I, did, I just took it. I didn't eat it. <laughs> he, he gave it to me. I just like I was trying to be nice. I didn't eat the damn thing. How, how was the Werthers? No, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't eat the damn thing. But taking it, and I would have sent her her energy back and Jesus. just chucked it back at her. Facts. I didn't need a candy. But the, the best thing about the day was is after my investment. Everybody was on your ass. After my no, the, the best thing about it was at the end of the day I went back with my investments and went back to the agent to put the investment, the money back in for the investments. So. Do you guys, do you guys ever feel like there's two people inside of you? I feel like there's like two hundred and seventy five. You, you, I, what'd you, you just say? <laughs> no, what did you just say? Sounds very dirty now that we say. Yeah. 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 What, what did you just say? You had two people inside you. Pause. Did he just say that? Yeah, man. Pause. Put it back up. Put it up. You're gonna finish. I don't. Pause. Big pause. You're right, Mark. Thank you. You said have you read two people inside of you, and then you said two hundred. What? I mean, what's going on here? Seventy-five. Like, I'm the only female. This does not help me right now. I like, said it. Pause. I don't like this. <laughs> nah, that's funny. I set myself up for failure by like going with this. I'm I know, like, right? Yeah. Jeez, that's funny. All right, so Lance, you can say it differently. So, <laughs> would you say? Do you, differently. Yeah. Would you say like? Do you ever wish that you could have two people? No. <laughs> Is that, that's what he said. That's, that's what, what he, he said? said. No, I didn't. I said, have you? Hold you on, we got it on tape. Oh, now you God. got. I said, do you ever feel? Pause. Do you ever feel like you have two people inside you? Meaning, like, elaborate a little bit more. Mentally. Well, that, you didn't clarify that. I was. <laughs> but that was funny, Mark. That was hilarious. That, Mark, you made Thank you for the so pause. wrong so quick, I, thanks. bro. That's, that's well, my he job. saved me. He job. saved me. Are you here for the feeding? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 175 people in you. It was 200-something, man. I was already in the 200s. I said, I told you earlier, my brain is like like a computer with like multiple tabs, right? and I don't know where the music's coming from. I think from, everybody's... And it just is like that. Yeah. Yeah, Only people fans. are <laughs> Only hearing off the script, you know, hear the weirdest shit daily. One of my It tasks. just comes out of the woodwork. Oh man. No, I mean that 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 that, that you know like you was like the, the angel and devil on your shoulders almost? Not, not even that. Like the, the bitch in you, right, that's telling you, like, don't get up and do this and don't do that. Stay home, relax. And then the other one that's like Go out and risk it all. Try it all. You bounce those back are my between those three. Thoughts every day. Right. I have it a lot at the gym, and I still have like from my high school football coach and everything. You know when you you'd be working out or whatever, and it's like you, our, our um, opposing school was Wayne Memorial, so we do like one more for Wayne. Right. Every time you're bench pressing or whatever, and as I'm bitching out, as I'm working out, I'll I'll be thinking in my head like, no, oh, you just thought about quitting. And right. I'll do two or three more. Yeah. And force myself to do more. But um, I think that's the only place I can really hear it. Maybe in the morning, as in I the wake mornings. up or something. Yeah, it's like no, you don't gotta get up today. And then you're just like, that's when you know you need to. But so right. I don't have any of that right. shit going on. You don't on, have right? that going no. on where you're like, there's that that. All right, so like, all right, let me let me let me give you a backdrop. You're at home and there's opportunity to go out to club and part. Not club, you know, club. Uh, <laughs> go to the bar and get sushi and party with with the with the couple of your personal friends. Right, that's your style. Right. Oh, and that's then, my style. Oh yeah. This and dude then, swears he knows me so well. I was talking out. to him about this shit earlier. 
We had, a good, we had a good laugh about <laughs> yeah. it. I've seen Joe the most in Los Angeles that I've ever seen anybody in Los Angeles. I, nobody else I've seen more. Well, because half the time we've been in this damn studio, we shoot all the guy <laughs> goddamn time. And we work together for like fucking five years, right? So, uh, but anyways, I've seen your ass five days a week. But uh, so you, you took me off track, track of thought. Good, I left but, filled your ass. <laughs> no, you didn't. Um, that's what you like, that personal setting. And then you're at home and you're like, you know, yeah, I could just go to sleep tonight, get some sleep, you know, relax, eat some good food, hang out, knock out, get an adequate amount of sleep, get up for work in the morning and be good. Those two those two tales that you're pulling. It happens a lot not more since I live by myself since my dog passed. But nine out of ten times if I want something to eat, what I'll do is walk my happy ass up to Whole Food. I love how you give brought me, it to give food. Me, give me a chef's plate, salmon, and like I get Brussels sprouts with it. I got into a big old debate with someone the other day. He was fucking telling me how he spent twenty two fifty for a Carl's Jr. meal. I'm like, bro, you can go to Whole Foods and get a salmon and two sides for fourteen dollars. A lot better shit than the other shit you're eating. You love that Carl's Jr.'s meal, huh? I know. I don't eat that shit. <laughs> hey, I don't a, eat any fast food anymore. Week you brought it up. I love talking <laughs> shit about it. The Western bacon. Hey, burger. do me a favor, man. <laughs> Boot up my corner. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right, guys, so I want to go ahead and address everybody in the room here, and I also want to address everybody watching from home. Um, I want to—I don't know if everybody is aware, March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Now, it's a, a, my, I had an aunt of mine. She passed away from this horrible disease, and um, recently myself, I did get a colonoscopy and didn't do, do the steps, and I'm still going through a process because I might have a rare case going on. I, I'm, I'm feeling good about everything, but my point is, get checked. I know for men, they get a little weary about it and women too, but just go get checked. So you can, if you do have something going on, they can stop it now and you can survive it. So I just want to give that information out to everybody. And the other thing is too now is that they're seeing cases at people's in their late twenties and early thirties. I know it's bullshit. Now, now we sit here and look at everything and we talked about this, but on the diet, but no, it's not about the diet. It is about the diet, but the other thing is, it's the shit that they're putting yeah, in the food that's that what we're I mean. eating. Yeah, it's what's out we're of eating. control. It is. We talked about this a lot. So. Yeah, that's a that's a whole a whole thing that's so unfortunate. So crazy. And it, and it's and it's weird because so many big companies are involved in it that we have is, we can't just say okay, take all the cereal out of the fucking aisle, take all this out, and just start fresh. But luckily, there are places like Sprouts and stuff that have like farmers marketed yeah. food and everything. But I never thought I would ever have to worry about this stuff, and now I'm like. Well, no, I mean that's the thing. I really, wa- I really, I don't eat a lot of fast food, and even going to the grocery store, I'm looking at labels now. I mean, did you see that guy talking about bread? Yeah. And how, because it's four ingredients, and they do it in every other country. But then you look at some of the stuff we get; it's out of control. But even the, yeah. the salmon, the salmon has to be wild Alaskan wild, salmon, exactly otherwise wild. you can't do it. Yeah. What they're cooking it in, all these seed oils that they're cooking shit in, and then like now, I used to always make fun of my brother-in-law, saying like, "Why do you always ask what they're cooking it in?" And all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Now, if they're not cooking it in grass-fed butter, I'm not eating. I mm. can't eat. Mm. I can't. Because my, my psoriasis, my gut health is so poor right now. And see, that's what a lot of people don't talk about. Well, they talk about you know the psoriasis and the celiac disease. It's because of the shit that they're putting in everything. That's why they have it. See, mm-hmm. but where I get like disappointed with where we're at in life is it's so expensive, you know. So right. it's like us that are like I like I said, I work harder than an ugly stripper. I'm trying to make <laughs> ends meet, all right. But I can't afford grass fed salmon. Like I can't. That's way oh, too much. Man. Like in a family, like so it's so sad how society like has it set up where it's like we got to live off McDonald's. Great and what's point. a McDonald's? Yeah, I have no yeah. idea. You Great know? point. Sad. Great yeah. point. And if you go to McDonald's in like Australia or yes. the UK, it's not as bad. No. Yep. And it's, yeah, it's so Fried disappointing. Fried chicken too, yeah. I mean, there was, I saw it on, I can't remember. This guy went to Italy for like months. Sure. And he went, when he went over there, <clears throat> he ate more and he ate a lot of bread and he came back and he was lighter. And because of what, because of all the naturality the of all the, 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 the yeah, that the, see in Italy they don't. It's very basic for bread. Right, right, right. We put so much other shit in there we don't know. That's why mm-hmm. when I when uh, that's why when I'll do a sandwich or something, I'll do it from Whole Foods. I know what it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, and I'm not trying to sit here and sell Whole Foods. I'm just telling you the only reason why is it's kind of close to my house. Well, what's white enriched bread? Uh, they bleach the bread. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, and, and yeah, what do they say? The whiter the bread, the quicker you're dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's damn near. And and you know what? And to ta- and to touch on that too, bro, like it's really seriously a lot of men have a hard time with that, man. They I'm invincible. Yeah. Uh, you know, 
I know dudes that have had some some serious stuff going on, and and they play it off because they want to be tough. You know, it's like at the end well, of the day, dude, get this shit handled. I used exactly. to work at a dental office, and like I think men in general, like I think you guys start to feel violated. Now, granted, like that area is you know, hey, Colon, violated. colonoscopy, yeah, like, oh, yeah. like you know, like. But even with the mouth, like guys, like when yeah. I had to do braces and stuff, like they're just like very like. You're in my mouth. Invasive. You know, you're like, in all like, in my yeah. Like, yeah, because you guys are very macho I felt like or whatever. That, you know, and you're like, this is my personal space. Like, your orifices are your personal space. So I feel like with guys. But yet, I'm sorry to get, like, weird. But everyone's, like, all for eating ass and all this weird shit. It's like, <laughs> just check your butthole. Check your poop, please. Please make sure your gut health is healthy. So disgusting. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you guys Jesus. do the weirdest shit nowadays. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry that gets really <laughs> weird You know what? We're, you're, hey, you but took I'm it thinking, in a good like, direction. Like, everyone... <laughs> <laughs> Who's eating ass? Hey, that lyric that we were talking about. I don't about, eat ass. Remember, ass. What's that lyric that we were talking about earlier? And Flo Millie, she said she's Thank eating her ass while looking, like, looking in her eye, looking in his eyes. Like advertising like eating ass. So you guys can't go fucking get your teeth checked or like go get your butthole checked. Please go check your teeth and your butthole. And what, eating his shitty right? ass too. Wait, here's the here's, here's uh, not to take it too far away. But, um, wow, the dental thing. I wonder thing. if the squatters oh, no, no, no. get their ass checked. Oh god. Okay, speaking about squatters. squatters. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for you working in a dental office because oh, I've shit. heard that dental offices are like worse than mechanics, like bad mechanics. Um, and I recently went and um, they said I had some cavities. They wanted me to, to uh, give fillings. Mm-hmm. I changed my diet. I went back in four months later and they didn't, there were the cavities didn't exist anymore. Wow. So no, the fact, so here's, yeah, yeah. it's a scam. Yeah. Wow. No, 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 no. yeah. So yeah, the fact that they didn't let me know that this could be something, wow. that they would just come and start filling my fucking mouth up. Wow. Um, so I'm going to share with you. That's cool. I'm sorry to like somewhat no, please, interrupt, yeah. but like I get where you're going with this. So where I used to work and I commend that doctor is he would always say, go get a second opinion mm-hmm. because there's yeah. a lot of doctors just like anything else in this world right now. Everyone's trying to make a buck. So they see it. something minute. There's very, what do they call? We were very conservative. 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 Whereas yeah. like there's other ones that are like, oh, we see something. You can manage it on your own if you keep on top of things. But there's some people that are like, oh, that's cha-ching. I see money. They're yeah. like Mr. Krabs. Like, hey, I see money in their mouth. And they will tell you all these things. But we've also dealt with like patients that are like, oh, if I swish coconut oil, it'll like make. No, your cavities don't go away with coconut oil. Like right. you have like a cavity, it's decaying. Well, his went things. away. But yeah, no, but like literally, so yeah. for you, if it if well, it went away, it's well, eating if habits it went changed. away, then it wasn't so that extreme. I, I also, it shouldn't have been that extreme. I also can um, attest to based on even like my whole mouth health. When I changed my diet, my gums were less like swollen yeah. or when I flossed and stuff like that. Yeah. So I could tell like, you know, I would stop eating sweets and everything. Mm. So I didn't even know that was something. And now I'm going to go back into the, the dentist and I'm going to say, hey, excuse me, because when I came back, there was nothing here. And yeah. um, the fact that they wanted to yeah rack up like 1200 or something, they, they 1500 see it's Like some offices, some doctors, some people are trying to make it in this world. They're like, oh, hey, that's our money. Yeah, you know, but you guys profit. say that. And facts. Cool. And, you know, I and it is just, like mechanics, look, like you said. It's yeah. like, oh, you need an oil change. You're windshield wipers. And it's just like, it's like not this. that severe. It's not that severe. <laughs> what do you smell? <laughs> it's like, too, you feel it. And like, yes, your diet has a lot to do with it. And But at the end of the day, go get a second opinion. Go right. get a second. If you feel like that's like, eh. That's you what know, everything in you life. You know what's crazy anything. about this? Yeah, that's what everything in life is. Yeah. Uh, sure. One of the Good people point, on guys. my investment team I work with. Sure. He's investment a big old, team. he's a big dude, right? Do I know this no, investment team? No, my investment. Invest- when I talk about my investment, Where they I'm invest talking at? about. I, uh, I'm just. <laughs> no, check this out. <laughs> It's not like he doesn't have money to get a tooth pulled. He pulled his own fucking tooth wow. out. Wow. He pulled it out. Wow, that's crazy. Himself. And then he, because he researched it, he pulled it out, showed the picture to everybody, and then he filled it with honey and it fucking mm. survived on the. That's insane. Honey? To me, Even like. Th- See, that's, that's insane. Fucking to me, kidding? Yeah. Sugar? Yes. But here's also. That's I, what creates cavities, right? I saw a viral video this week about a girl. She took out her, uh, she, you know how people are getting their, their old fillings, like their silver fillings taken yeah, yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Um, and uh, she was having heart palpitation, like MS, sympt- um, MS symptoms, and she took out her fillings because she went to a doctor and one of them was cracked. She went to a holistic doctor and they were like, oh yeah, this filling is poisoning you because it's going right to your brain. Yep. And the fact that, so she had to get those out and then put different fillings in, the white fillings the or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, so that, that could be part of like our health and stuff too that yeah. just, it's right into your yeah. brain like because like your teeth they have pores just like your hairs like it yeah. goes like down to everything the food yeah. that we eat and what our food eats and yeah. like it's a domino yeah. effect so like our teeth same thing that has it's porous like there's yeah. things that we're absorbing i'm getting mine taken out 
<laughs> oh, not my like, teeth, but my fillings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, fillings. Three silver fillings. I'm getting taken out this year. Yeah, no amalgam fillings. Like, and we did what we could then, you know, in dental history or whatnot. But like, you know, we learn and we adapt, and science is so great. But like, what's to say in ten years they find out composite, like it's plastic? Okay, so plastic in our teeth, like, is that going to be pro or con? Like, there's so always what, something, always right, something yeah. that my, we're learning. My question is, is what are they going to fill them with when you take them out? So it's instead of the silver fillings, they put, what are they called? It's Compos- called composite fillings. Composite fillings. Yeah, filling. yeah, yeah and it's white fillings. and it looks so, cleaner. Yeah. 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 It's crazy, dude. Mercury, mercury, mercury right? yes. Yeah. So yeah. I was, I was going to yep. say, is it a mercury thing? Yeah. No, it's, Cause it's mercury because um, even when we had to like mix it to like learn how to like prep the, not prep the tooth. We didn't Right, right, right. That, I like get what you mean. Like, you know, yeah, prep the filling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy, bro. You touch it. Like there's a whole way of like waste for it. Like it's a whole process. Yeah, that's crazy. Careful well, that one by quick. We talked about squatting and teeth and, and oh, hold this on. and oh, that. No, 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 no. We got, we got, we got, we got. Crack the code. We can't leave that. Was the that. code? No, nah. <laughs> no, we ain't. We ain't leaving it there, bro. What we, you got? What you got for pop me? Pop that. Pop that up on the screen, big dog. We gonna we gonna make it. We gonna make. We can get out of here quick. But I'm gonna keep it on kind of what we were discussing. Eating bit. ass. <laughs> Tony, you, bro. <laughs> I, and I literally said, who eats ass? And everybody changed the question real quick. <laughs> All right. Uh, health is wealth edition. What are some workout routines? Right. For people just starting out or just getting back into working out. Ooh. So if what do you do? If you're so if you're just starting to work out, just go to the gym for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You don't got to like over work out. Just get in there, do like a couple things, and leave. Sure, like a couple things as in. I would I would say like I st- whenever I'm I'm out for like a few months and I finally get back in, I go and I do like full body. I'll just and I don't judge myself. I just go in, boom, get a couple of things done, and then I leave. And then I'm starting to build that repetition because if you're not going to go for a long period of time, like you know consecutively or like right. you know three to six days a week. It's hard to go and just go and like you know make yourself sore the next day and you're like oh fuck I don't want to get back up right so are so, you moving dumbbells or are you doing calisthenics or I'm doing when I when I go to the gym I do I break mine into days so like once I get into my flow I'm chest on Mondays legs on Tuesdays shoulders on Wednesdays back on Thursdays Perfect. and then um, arms on Friday because you go to the club after that's what I've been saying for, <laughs> since I was 20 years old. But uh, and then on the, and then <laughs> so on funny. on Saturdays we so do true. abs and core. Okay. So and I'm only going I'm going like 45 minutes to an hour. Even right now I'm not I'm like not heavy heavy lifting, but um, <clears throat> I guess it depends like you know what you want to do if you just want to like tone up or if you want to like actually you know like build, <clears throat> build muscle yeah, or yeah. lose weight or whatever. I'm I'm run, I would go in do some light cardio run run maybe a mile or jog a mile or walk a mile whatever you can do right. and then um, and then yeah just. Just starting out, I would do that. I would do some bench press. I would do some leg press. I would do just dumbbells and the different exercises for like shoulders. With dumbbells, you can do so many different things. Like right. I have some dumbbells here just to throw on whenever necessary. Right. So if you're just starting out, look like understand what you want to do and then and then reverse engineer it from that. So um, and then just follow somebody that you like their workout style on Instagram. That's a workout like uh, influencer, and see the the different things they do. Right. Or look up on YouTube. What are, what's like a thirty a twenty minute workout plan I can do at home? There's so much stuff out there. It's all the information is there, and so many people don't go to the gym or don't work out because they don't know what to do and they don't want to be judged by people. They so think people true. are looking at them. Nobody's looking at you. When I no. see people in the gym that don't know what they're doing, it's like you'll learn. That's yeah. how you start. You got to start crazy. somewhere. You got to suck at first. So bad. And, so true. Um, and there's, but it's really working out is m- mainly for me is like a mental cleanse every single day to reset. And, uh, but don't judge yourself. It's hard to get back in. It's hard to even stay consistent, but just keep on getting up the next day and, and, and adding it to your life because that is just as important as the food that we're eating and the content we're consuming. So, uh, that's how I crack the code. That's how you crack the code. Very nice, nice Marcus. See, we couldn't leave without yeah. that, bro. We had to get that from Mark. Well, you know, our producer gets mad when we go over time sometimes. Well, so if you want to do it, I just want to make sure he's happy. We, 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 that was, that was muchly needed. People uh, need I'm to not hear that, fucking so. arguing with you unless you got a fucking <laughs> squatter coming in any minute. <laughs> a squatter eating <laughs> ass looking for fucking to clean its teeth. <laughs> a squatter eating <laughs> ass, ass cleaning, cleaning I guess that's teeth. the title, huh? Put that on YouTube and get it banned immediately. <laughs> <laughs> squatter yeah. eating ass. <laughs> working for the CIA. <laughs> working for the Work. CIA. <laughs> Losing teeth. <laughs> Lance, where can I find you? <laughs> I am underscore ill, son. Joe. 
Man, you ain't running shit. I got a <laughs> shot out to go down anyways. Um, <laughs> straight up, every, everybody who's watching and they see uh, these hats we have on our head, um, shout out to uh, my uh, friends at uh, AK, excuse me, AKD Inc. on the gram. You can get any of your embroidery, any kind of printing done with them. They do great work. Yep, we all have them now. You can see them. And might be a point where we start selling them if you people start bugging us. So Thank I just you. want to put yeah, that you out. You guys got to get the merch on the site, man. For yeah. show. Sure, sure. Exactly. They do a really good job. Great people. For so go show. and check them out. And I am the real Joe Rosati. You can find me anywhere. So You can find me. I'm the fake Joe Rosati. And yeah. everywhere. That would be good. Go ahead, Emily. Where, 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 where they can find you at? Uh, you can find me squatting on um, TikTok and Instagram <laughs> at norm.ilyme. Do a little productions on Instagram and TikTok. One beat. He's always one beat. Is, He's always one beat. And this is uh, uh, off the script podcast. It is. Yeah. That hat looks good on you, bro. Yeah, man. Looks better job, on you man. than me. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bucket one made. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hand stitched. Uh, well, the, he hand stitched it. They, they, I think we should off. definitely, definitely put these on. Uh, uh, we should definitely sell these, dude. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get like a, we'll get like a 15 piece, 20 piece. We talking chicken wings now? <laughs> <laughs> A little barbecue sauce on it. <laughs> Lemon pepper wings. He didn't say the 15, 20 piece. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy. All right, we'll see you guys yeah. next time. Right. Peace. Let's go. Let's go. We just got to go hard.